Well, it is a moment that no one saw coming, but has since gone viral. And we are talking about the national anthem performance during Charlotte FC's home opener on Saturday. It was so great. The singer's mic went out, but the crowd stepped right in. It sure did. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Stroline was there. Ashley, you captured this moment on video. That video now has more than a million views, but how does the singer feel about her mic cutting out? Yeah, Fred and Carolyn, this was such a moment. I just happened to run into the stands, right place, right time to get that video. But we spoke with singer Michelle Brooks Thompson, and she said she certainly had no idea what was about to transpire when she walked onto the field to perform the national anthem. Now, due to technical issues, her mic went out, and nearly 75,000 fans in the stadium pitched in to help her finish the national anthem ahead of Charlotte FC's home opener, a moment that won't soon be forgotten. I'm singing. I know that my mic cut off and it came back on and then I hear myself again and my monitors and I'm like, okay, everything's great. And I'm like, wow, the entire stadium is singing along with me. I do the anthem so much and I never had this type of reaction. So I'm thinking I must be real good tonight. Like they're just, you know, loving it. Get back to the green room and um, the coordinator in the field was giving me thanks and praise for handling it all so professional. And I'm like, it's okay. You know, the mic went out and it came back in and I performed the rest of the song. They heard me. And he just looked at me and said, no, they didn't hear you. And I'm like, wait, what? And although the technical issues kept Michelle from performing how she had rehearsed, this rendition of the national anthem means so much to her. Me just being a part of that moment, it was something that unified the people in the arena. Even if it was for, what, a minute, 30 seconds, you know, we were together as one. And the amount of fans that came up to me at the end, some had tears in their eyes, some were just so excited that they were a part of that moment. That meant more to me than anything else because, you know, peace and unity, that is something that our country needs right now. Oh, All right, I love so, it. Yeah, I love the perspective she gave there at the end, just about how that brought everyone together. You had that moment, even if it was for a minute and 30 seconds of unity, 75,000 people nearly coming together to kind of save the day. And I love that she was so honest. She was like, I thought I killed it. I thought I nailed yeah. it. I had no idea that the mic never came back. So You know what? That's the power of sports, though. I mean, yes. in this moment, this was huge. But just in general, when you go to a, a stadium, you're all rooting for the same the same team, you can look back and see people from all different walks of life, but you're sing all there the for one. Anthem. Yep, it's yep. great. I yep. love it. And let's not talk about how hard the national anthem is oh to gosh. sing. Yes. <laughs> if you're her and you're professional, the last thing you expect is for the mic to go out. Oh, yeah, we heard rehearsals. She killed it in rehearsal. Yeah. Mic didn't go out. Everything was great. But, you know, you actually saw she kept going. She never stopped singing it. So the mic came back for just a second. So, like you said, yeah. the true professional that she is. And yeah. I think maybe she'll be back to sing the next I was going to say she's probably yeah. going to be invited back. She's yes, earned her absolutely. place. Absolutely. <laughs> So thank you. Thank you.